Once they, it is discovered that this person is, for example, received the clinical diagnosis of Parkinson uh, and that the actual procedure is appropriate for them, uh, meaning that they're of good, you know, they, they're of good health otherwise that can handle a surgery uh, like uh, craniotomy or uh, craniofacial. Uh, uh, with the Kiwi technology, you're able to intervene at craniofacial intervention uh, or surgical technique, the, the, the surgical technique that you can use um, because it's a small in size uh, and you essentially use this uh, uh, passageway to insert uh, a device about 1.9 by 2.2 millimeter in size, which is roughly about the grain of uh, rice. Uh, into the uh, zone that uh, is being implicated. Uh, in the case of Parkinson, that would be the subthalamic nucleus or STN uh, in the basal ganglia. And you drive the uh, Kiwi device chip uh, into that area. Uh, it is then uh, uh, made of material called carbon nanotubes uh, that are, uh, neurons start basically gathering around that area and growing uh, it would then sense um, this growth of neurons or the presence of these neurons, start modulating uh, electrophysiologically uh, a modulation pattern uh, that is fit uh, to uh, stop uh, the trimmer, which is the most immediate thing that we want to uh, stop. Uh, so this neuromodulation happens by pulse generation essentially at a very, very low uh, power. There are two other therapeutic uh, uh, effects or engagement that takes place. One we refer to as a scaffolding effect and the second is, uh, or the third it would be the uh, optogenetics in the event that that's what we want to do, which is regrowing cells uh, or reprogramming the functional area in this projection zone. Uh, the system has the capability of communicating this data uh, outside of the brain to a nearby device we refer to as the propagator and then the propagator is able to convey or connect this information to a system on the cloud um, that is essentially a, a, a full-scale referred to as a brain operating system that is capable of processing this data, uh, generating additional inferences or corrections or modification to the firmware or to the software and then following the same path uh, for, uh, backward again uh, to uh, back into the chip uh, that process uh, continues on for the life of the uh, uh, therapy. Uh, we do inductively charging so that it's a chronic device. We do not have to go back and take out uh, unless there is some serious uh, uh, clinical malfunction or malfunction, electronic malfunction of the device, uh, which is all to be determined and worked out in the future tests uh, before we actually go into the first uh, uh, patient with this full encapsulation.